Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from Older Women Rock. Thanks for stopping by today, I so appreciate it. Today I thought I'd have a little fun with one of my style icons. Many of us have our favourite style icons or our favourite Hollywood movie stars from bygone days. Well, I don't think there's any great surprise because I've mentioned her more than once. Mine is Marilyn Monroe. These Hollywood actresses from the 30s, 40s and 50s, well, <laughs> they were just so glamorous. It was a time of glamour and opulence. And many of us have our favourites. Yours might be Audrey Hepburn. She was loved by many and what a classy woman Audrey Hepburn was. It might be Ava Gardner. She was such a bombshell, that woman. She was incredibly beautiful. Yours might have been Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly was just about as sophisticated and classy as you could get. Well, the woman ended up a princess and I'm not surprised at all. For me, it was Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. I adore Marilyn Monroe. I have a whole Pinterest board dedicated to Marilyn and I save photos of Marilyn Monroe and her beautiful outfits. Marilyn was probably one of the most photographed actresses of all times. She had a lot of top photographers take photos of Marilyn so we got to see her amazing outfits. Most of these outfits that she was photographed in were taken from her movies. They were designer outfits made just for Marilyn. Of course, there's lots of photographs of Marilyn in her outfits as well, her everyday outfits. Apparently, Marilyn didn't own an enormous amount of clothes. But fortunately, there's just so many fabulous photos of Marilyn Monroe. I thought it would be a lot of fun to try and duplicate just a couple of those outfits. Well, it was never going to happen with those gorgeous gowns, those elegant gowns, because they would be worth so much money. I'd have to get a dressmaker to make them and a designer, forget it. Just way, way too much money. I chose a couple of photos that I'd always really liked a lot, and I thought I could probably duplicate somewhat, only <laughs> somewhat those outfits. Not easy, not easy at all to do. So I've chosen two outfits today, and this is the first outfit. Of course, I couldn't find the exact outfit like Marilyn was wearing. It's not easy to find a green crossover off the shoulder top. It's not easy at all. The purple scarf was a little bit easier to find and I didn't have the exact pants because her pants looked like they were made from velour. I had a good look at the photo and I think there were some sort of velvet velour pants. These are corduroy, these are my wide leg pants that I owned. These are a corduroy pair. So I thought that's about as close as I'm going to find. I'm not going to be shopping far and wide looking for the perfect pair of pants that Marilyn wore. I did find a pair of earrings online and I think they're absolutely divine. I love these crystal earrings and the emerald green goes back with the flowers. Mind you, this is not a colour I would ever wear. I don't even think this colour flatters me. Marilyn could wear any colour and she did. Super gorgeous fake crystal earrings with the emerald green. I got them online for about $5 so I think that was pretty good actually and they are really beautiful. So I got as close as I could and I know it's not the same. It wasn't meant to be the same because it wasn't going to be achievable. So I thought I'd show you this outfit and another one. Now the amusing thing about both these outfits is I didn't realize when I chose them till only just recently, just prior to making this video in Just prior to making this video, I happened to be scrolling through Netflix looking for a movie and I wanted something really light-hearted and under the 99 cents movies, I often have a look there, uh, actually it was on, not Netflix, sorry, it was on um, iMovies and on iMovies there was a Marilyn movie and I thought, well, I'm doing a Marilyn inspired 
styling video so I'll have a look at this movie and it was Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, one of her incredibly famous movies. In fact it was so famous it had that absolutely incredibly famous song and that beautiful hot pink dress that she wore with Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, that song. We all know that song. It's so iconic and that dress is incredibly iconic. If only I could have copied that dress but that was not going to be easy. It looks like it's made from taffeta and that's a designer piece. That's quite a dress, that one. So I was watching Gentlemen Prefer Blondes that she did with Jane Russell. The beautiful Jane Russell, the leggy Jane Russell, her legs were just a mile long. <laughs> they just seemed to never end. But they made a great team in that movie and um, it was a fun movie as a lot of Marilyn's movies were about fun. So as I was watching the movie, and it certainly wasn't the first time I've watched that movie, but it had been a long time, I saw the outfits. I saw the two outfits that I had chosen to try and duplicate. I thought this is really meant to be. This is, this is just so meant to be. I was a little bit surprised that the colours look different on screen to the photos that I'd chosen. In actual fact, the scarf was much more of a lilac colour, which I would have preferred actually because I don't wear purple. So I bought this scarf and I'll never wear it. Lilac, I would wear. I definitely would wear a strong lilac and that's what it looked like in the movie. It didn't look so purple. And the green looked like a bit of a lighter green, which I actually suspected anyway. The green looked a little bit lighter and brighter, which I suspected was going to be true. And I probably would have preferred that as well, because I don't wear emerald green, even though it's a great color. Kelly green, emerald green. I'm not sure whether you, uh, there is a difference between those, but I call it emerald green. It's a dual color in my mind. So anyway, I found this one online. I think this was about $7.00. It's very synthetic. It's really hot because <laughs> it's summer here. And I... So this is pretty synthetic and cheap, the fabric in this blouse. Um, and I had to modify it a bit with my sewing machine. So Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. I don't know what it is about Marilyn. She just has whatever she has. Marilyn had it. Whatever it was, whatever that incredible combination was. Some people said it was her childlike vulnerability and her incredible female womanly, well, sexiness combined. Some people felt it was that combination of both that made her so unique. I've read quite a bit about Marilyn because I'm kind of intrigued by the person behind the scenes as well. Obviously what we saw wasn't really Marilyn. Marilyn in many ways created herself. She's pretty clever actually because we all know that she wasn't a natural blonde. She was a light brunette or a dark blonde. To stand out from the crowd of all the other gorgeous women in Hollywood, Marilyn created a unique person. She knew she had to be different. She knew she had to bring something different so she was going to get noticed and notice she did. Apparently she taught herself how to walk in a certain style so she had that little wiggle going on. She even spoke differently. She learnt to lower her voice and have a very soft voice. Something I'm not very good at doing. Marilyn perfected that out of breath, that out of breath way of speaking. Of course there's been a lot of speculation about surgery, what surgery she had or she didn't have. I don't really know, to be honest, what she really had or didn't. Some say she had something done to her nose. Some say her chin. Some say her breasts. I don't really know. I think, I think the only thing they know for sure is perhaps her nose. I'm not sure though. From looking at earlier photos of when she was younger, she did seem to have a broader nose, but it's hard to say. So thanks to certain photographers like Milton Green, incredibly famous photographer at the time who took photos of Hollywood celebrities. He took hundreds of photos, if not thousands of photos of Marilyn Monroe. And to this day, she has the most famous 
fashion photo ever taken in the whole world. That incredibly iconic photo of her in the New York subway in the white halter neck dress. We've all seen that photo. I think most of us love that photo. Milton Green didn't actually take that photo. That was taken for Seven Year Itch, the movie, The Seven Year Itch, and it wasn't planned. That was not a planned photo. A professional photographer that happened to be on the set at that time with many other photographers just captured that perfect moment where she was throwing her head back and laughing and her dress was blowing up. And that became Marilyn's most iconic photo. And I would say it's probably the most iconic photo, fashion photo of any celebrity in the whole world. That, that famous white halter neck dress sold, I don't know when it was, but I think it was in the last few years at auction for $5.6 million. That's how badly someone wanted that dress because to show you the earrings one more to show you the earrings one more time before I get changed into my next Marilyn inspired outfit that also came from the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Now that I realise that after just watching the movie. When I was watching the movie recently, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, it became quite apparent that my duplication of the outfit that Marilyn wore in that movie wasn't even coming really that close. I only had the top half of the photo. I only had from the head about to the waist. When I saw the whole photo, I could clearly see that my copy wasn't really copying it. It was getting there, it was in the same theme. I do love the brooch. I think I scored with the brooch. I bought this online, the diamond brooch. I paid about eight or nine dollars. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. In the movie, this scarf, leopard print scarf I have around here is actually a stole. It's a fur stole. It goes all the way down and she also had leopard print fur mitten to put her hands into. I think you call them mittens. The what? Whatever it is, there's the round cylinder to put your hands in to warm them up. So she had a matching fur one of those. And as I said, it wasn't just a scarf. It was a whole stole. I don't think the dress was probably anything like the dress. It's the only dress, it's the only dress I ironed that went across at the neckline and black one that had a sleeve like this. I sort of got the look happening, but there's no way I could duplicate that look. Who's got a fur leopard print stole? Well, somebody might, but I don't. The hat, I knew it wasn't a beret, but I owned a black beret. And the feather, that's left over from a Halloween outfit. Her feather went really long all the way down. And when I looked at feathers online, they were actually quite expensive to buy. And I didn't want to use one from a real bird. The whole thought of that kind of turned me off a little bit. So I knew the feather wasn't quite right, but I thought, well, I can sew a feather onto a beret, my black beret. So. I'm kind of there, I'm almost getting there. I'd really love to see some comments left for this video. My favorite movie of Marilyn's was Niagara. I loved that movie. It was a bit of a thriller and it's a, sort of a bit of a different movie for Marilyn. I really liked the drama in that one and um, seeing the Niagara Falls and uh, I did like Bus Stop. That was a bit different, a bit unusual. Um, I quite liked Bus Stop. It was, oh, it had a little tragedy to it. It had a sadness about it that I quite liked. Marilyn's last movie was The Misfits. The Misfits was directed by John Huston and Clark Gable and she acted in the movie with Clark Gable and Montgomery Clift. Now really sadly, Clark Gable died two months after the making of this movie and Marilyn died a year later. The Misfits was made in 1961 and Marilyn died in 1962. She was only 36. It's hard to believe, isn't it? After such a iconic career, such an incredible career. She was only 36 when she passed away. I really love you guys to leave me some comments. Leave me some comments about Marilyn's movies. Which was your favorite movie? Did you have a favorite Marilyn movie? 
And if Marilyn wasn't your favourite style icon from that era, who was? Who was your favourite style icon? Not necessarily your favourite actress, but your favourite style icon from that era. When it comes to actresses, I absolutely adored Vivian Lee. I think she was an absolutely superb actress, a stunner, a knockout. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you had I hope you had fun watching my video copying Marilyn's outfits from the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Hope to see you soon. Bye. So thank you so much for having fun with me today and I truly hope to see you again soon. I do appreciate you watching.